welcome. Today we're going to learn to change an outlet. Tools needed are an electrical tester, Phillips screwdriver, straight screwdriver, pliers, wire strippers, the outlet, and outlet plate. Now be sure to use the electrical tester on each and every outlet before removing because not every outlet is on the same circuit which may result in an electrical shock. So for your safety, make sure to check each and every outlet before we begin working on it. Once you've checked each and every outlet and removed the outlet plate, take the top and the bottom screw off the outlet. Now one thing I know in this particular picture, you can see that the paint is going to be holding the outlet onto the wall. In the next picture, I'm going to show you how to fix this. To fix this problem, take a sharp pocket knife and cut around the top and bottom to have your outlet. Now this step may not be necessary, but if it is, it's in here so you know how to do it. After that step is complete, pull your outlet away from the wall so you have room to work on it. After the outlet has been removed from the wall, use your screwdriver and loosen the screws on the sides and bottom for the ground wires, the white wires, and the black wires. If necessary, use the pliers to pull the wires loose from the old outlet. After doing so, put the white wires with the white, the black with the black, and the ground with the ground so that all wires have been completely separated and you cannot get them mixed up. Now we're going to use the wire strippers to strip off any excess rubber coating on the wires. If you did break the wires or cut them, no big deal. You have the wire strippers with you, so just strip off a little bit, and we'll show you what to do in the next step after you've completed the stripping of the wires. Now use your wire strippers with a little hole near the handles to bend an S-like shape on the end of the wires. This will be used to hook the wire onto the outlet screw. And again, separate all your wires, the whites with the whites, the blacks with the blacks, and the ground onto itself so that the wires are not in any way confused or mixed up. Alright, now start connecting the wires to the new outlet. Now, most outlets, the brass screws are for the black, the silver screws are for the white, and the green screw is for the ground. So after connecting those, let's start with the next step. If all wires have been connected correctly, this is what you should be left with. Next, push the outlet back towards the wall, which you may have to bend the wires a little bit to get a push back in there, but it won't hurt anything. Once you've completed that, Start by screwing the top screw in just enough so the outlet's now connected back to the box and then start on the bottom screw or if you start at the bottom then start on the top screw next. Do not screw the top or bottom in all the way before getting the other screw started. As you can see here I got the top connected and now I'm starting to get the bottom connected and I'm going to work them in evenly to make sure the outlet gets aligned correctly.
Alright, so I made sure the outlet was all lined up, and this is what your outlet should look like when you're all done. The next step is to put your outlet plate on. Now what you may want to do is go ahead and insert the screw in the outlet plate and then put it against the outlet so it'll be a little bit easier for you to work with. Now in this case scenario we use a straight screwdriver which you'll use in most cases. Um, you hardly ever see Phillips so you probably need a straight screwdriver to put your outlet cover on. Alright and now your job is complete. You've now put your own outlet in. I hope you enjoyed this video and if this video is helpful, please subscribe and like, and I'll see you in my next episodes. Thanks for watching Jason Top Garage. See you next time.